welcome to Fatima Catholic Mission Station and uh, our power station, hydropower station, small one. This is the main piece of our hydropower station, the water wheel itself. From the water wheel through the gear, uh, the energy is transferred to the second shaft and then geared up to alternator, 24 volts alternator <coughs> that charges two batteries connected in tandem, 24 volts, and the inverter inverts the power 24 volts DC to 240 AC. What is uh, nice in this uh, power station that it is a combination of something very old and something uh, new, we can say modern. Very old is the water wheel itself. Most probably it is about 100 years old, at least 70, 80 years old, brought from uh, France by first missionaries. This is what I found here. On top of this water, water wheel there was a workshop, very, uh, very broken and collapsing. But water, water wheel itself in the beginning of my presence here inspired me to do something with it. So water wheel is uh, very old. It is not on the bearings, it's on the bronze rings, but it's working properly nice. And uh, something modern, the inverter, uh, high tech, uh, new generation, very powerful and very very producing very healthy power with very good frequency so this is our main uh, main power station i invite you to to go with me up eh, to the source of water that is also for us now the source of power this is another piece of our hydropower station uh, the penstock bringing the water from uh, water reservoir uh, on top there to the water wheel the dimensions are 150 mil is the, the, the pipe, PVC pipe. Head, the difference of level between the water reservoir and the water wheel is about 13 meters. And the length is uh, 25 meters about. The speed of the water is uh, 30 meters a second, less more, uh, something like that. And then uh, the capacity of the, of the penstock is 60 liters a second. Hmm? We are not running it now for uh, at 100%. Uh, uh, still, it, it has potential to, to do more. For now, we run uh, maybe 60%. This is another piece of our hydropower station, very important. The upper reservoir, the place from the water, from where the water approaches the water wheel in pipe. Water comes by canal here, and here. Uh, and uh, initial pressure is already built up. This uh, reservoir is deep to two meters deep. Cement armed with the steel to keep it strong because there is, this is the main heat of the water, especially during after heavy rain. It was very difficult to build it because as you see, it is on the slope. We had to connect it with all piece of, uh, of this water intake. Once again, it is a combination of something new and something old. This uh, part is very is new, just recently built, but other side you will see is still the cement made by first missionaries in, in 1960, 50 years ago. Another piece of our hydropower station, another step going up to the source of energy, clean, ecological, green energy, is uh, this upper, upper water intake. Actually, it is a combination of something we built uh, recently and something first missionaries built. And they build it very, very uh, intelligent way. First of all, this part is lower than the approaching canal to the reservoir. So, if the canal brings some, uh, some uh, rubbish, uh, some uh, sand or gravel, it sediments here. It is easy then to remove. Eh? It doesn't go on the water wheel. Uh, and not, does not destroy the water wheel. <coughs> then, it is a system of valves in such a way that we can cut the water, put it on the discharge canal and make some maintenance work. Very, very nice, very, very smart. And combination of something old and something new. This is our construction made with the people, with the community. And this is the piece first missionaries made, still working, still intact. We are on the old missionary road coming from Ononge along the range to Waitape. Actually, this is the way the gospel came to Waitape uh, in, uh, in the beginning of 20th century. 
along this road, this piece of road, uh, comes also the canal, bringing the water from the creek to our hydropower station. The water, the, the road, you still can see the road uh, on, this, uh, on this side, also on the other side, going to Amboli. We use this piece of road uh, for visits, pastoral visits to Amboli. We can see one of the more, most difficult uh, parts of our hydropower station. The canal bringing water from the creek in the part of the canal that is more the most exposed to heavy rains when the creek grows very much and uh, fills all this, uh, all this uh, valley. Uh, well, we find, found a solution to bring the water because the canal was all the time was broken, broken and uh, leaking. Still is leaking, but it, anyway, it is working now. <coughs> and it will be working in this way and we will be upgrading, putting more bags filled with gravel and sand. It is a perfect solution, ecological, uh, because even putting cement would be useless. The creek is so violent, it will break every, everything, anything. So we are uh, building this cliff, this most, most uh, dangerous and most difficult and most important. If it breaks here, we don't have water, we don't have power. We will be upgrading it and building this cliff with bags of gravel and sand until it is strong enough to be really re reliable, 100% we can say. We are at the source of our uh, clean ecological energy power in the place where we take water from the creek. As you can see in the background, this is a very, we can say, primitive but ecological uh, water intake. There is no ingerence in the creek. Everything is built with uh, natural materials, mainly with the stones and rocks. And we take, wa and we take as much water as it is necessary. Still, the creek keeps, uh, keeps running, is alive, uh, the, the life uh, can continue in the creek. And uh, we are very happy because we had the troubles in the beginning with this uh, water intake. It was very destroyed. Anyway, for 40 years, nobody was uh, making any maintain maintenance here. So it was very, very run down. We spent here two days just taking the rocks and the, cr the stones from the creek and putting it along to build uh, something that will be reliable as more. And I can tell really that uh, I'm very happy. I was afraid that we will be, it will be necessary to come here and work every week or something like that, spend a lot of time to repair, to build a new. For now it is working perfectly and we had already some very heavy rains when the creek war was so big that when we stay now it was all covered with water. So uh, it was worthy. We spent a lot of uh, time working, not big money, not big money. The hydro, I can tell that hydro costed something about uh, 30,000 uh, kina and is producing and, and has the potential to produce about five, maybe up to seven kV uh, of power. So it was worthy in the sense of uh, sacrifices of work and also of expenses. And I recommend these solutions to other stations in the mountains. You can build and have a build a hydro station with very uh, at a very low cost, with no big expertise. All these things we can repair by our, uh, ourselves, uh, with few spanners and uh, and screwdriver and, uh, and and hammer, and you you can have a power 24 hours, uh, cheap power and clean power and silent power.